Early summer is so much fun because we can load up our containers with a lot of color. But the first thing you have to do, you have to get rid of the old stuff. So I've gathered a few of my containers here just to show you how I like to do it. Now, I grow a lot of tall things in my containers and a lot of long things in the containers. So this is a really fun time to find out what made it through the winter and what didn't. This was an annual grass and you just pull it out of the middle. It's got a nice big root ball, but it won't live again this year. It was only supposed to live for one season, so that's going to go into the compost pile. Make sure you take out any other plants, like you can see here, that are dead from last season, and they are just ready to be tossed in the compost pile. But I mean, you might have some little gems like this. This is hen and chick. See how well they did over the winter? We can use those again. I'm going to keep cleaning that out. And you're going to see I have nice soil still left in here in this container. Now, in the middle of this container, I have all kinds of good, light, potting soil. I'm going to mix that around a little bit, take out some more of these grasses. Now let's take a look at this one. I still have some ivy that made it over the winter. That's nice. I'm going to pull out some more of these other plants. Oh, hey, what do we have here? I have a trellis from last season. I'll clean that up. More plants and, oh, uh, neighbors. Thought they'd be kind of funny. Even more little rats. They're going to make it way over to there garden this season. <laughs> all right, take out all the dead branches. Now, if you have containers that you completely emptied, I want to make sure you soap them up in some hot water, clean them out, and then put new soil in. In these containers that are very big, I won't empty them out, but you want to make sure the outside edges are nice and clean before we put in new plants. And the next thing we'll do, we'll top this off with some new potting soil and some new plants as we get our spring garden cleaned up. Let's tap all these into that bucket, get it all ready. You can see here I'm fluffing up the soil. The next step, we'll be putting in new plants and a beautiful new container garden. Get out there and get growing.